Hi guys, it's Go Lila Motams, also known as Gelawap Z, girl from Zambi. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload videos, you will be notified that Gelawap Z are possible video. Thank you, thank you so much for more than 59,000 subscribers. I am so grateful that you guys keep on coming to my YouTube channel. I'm so blessed to have the family growing day by day. I'm literally getting at least a thousand subscribers in every two days. And it's humbling. It's really, really encouraging towards myself and everybody that supports my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about a video that has been trending for some time on WhatsApp and on Facebook. Uh, the reason why I didn't want to talk about this video then was because I already have a video that is a bit similar to that and the video is linked down below. There's a video on my YouTube channel which I have titled Before You Talk About China. See what some Britons say about Africans, Asians and Pakistanis. That video is about what I'm going to talk about now. But in that video, the people that were speaking are just, you know, the general public commenting about how the coronavirus mainly affects us black people. And when we check the statistics, you actually discover that more people who have died actually are not even blacks, but white people, or the Caucasians. The message of this video is for you as an immigrant in Britain, wherever you are, that is comfortable in that location because life is all good. You pay your bills, you work, and you're not thinking of going back to Africa or wherever you come from. Before I go any further, I would like you to watch this video where this Englishman literally mocks immigrants and it's all about obviously the coronavirus which has exposed their behavior as in we've always thought they love us they, they they embrace us they want immigrants in their countries but this person has made a video which he hasn't even been um condemned for it the video is trending i've seen the page where it was shared there's a page called momentum where they share such type of videos and uh, Everyone seems to be in support of what he's doing. Of course, some people are not in support, but I just want you to watch this video and then I will make my commentary. Watch this. I'm from the government and today I want to unveil our new message to immigrant key workers. Get out. We at the government are all very grateful that you've been risking your lives to take care of us in hospitals, to grow our food, to deliver us post, to keep us clean, drive our buses, trains and taxis and, well, do all the vital things that have kept this country running during the pandemic. But we need to let you know that once this pandemic has been sorted, we don't really want you in the country anymore. Which is why we've announced new immigration policies that would class the vital work you've been doing as low-skilled. Under our new points-based system, Anyone earning less than £25,600, which is pretty much every key worker I mentioned earlier, will no longer be considered as having any worth whatsoever. Our approach to the points-based system is for the brightest and the best, it's for the high skills that we do need. So yes, we will bring overall numbers down by reducing the number of people with low skills coming to the United Kingdom. So yes. You may be the only thing stopping us from dying from a fatal illness or starving to death, but because you don't earn enough, we just don't consider you the brightest and the best. But I don't want you to think we don't value your contribution. So we've extended all visas for immigrants working in healthcare by one year. We know you have enough to worry about. With the daily threat of spreading and catching COVID-19, Made worse, of course, by the lack of adequate PPE. So, rest assured, we won't kick you out until we no longer need you. So finally, on behalf of the government, to all our key workers who are doing so much for the country,
Thanks a lot. Now leave. Okay, so you've heard the message. Go back to your country. We don't need you here in the UK. The skills points will be dropped so that you don't qualify after the coronavirus. You can go back to your countries. After all, you have helped us look after our people. When I saw the video, I didn't know whether to be upset. I didn't know whether to react the way I reacted with the other comments. But the video sends a message which you and me need to look into. If you are not from Britain, or you're not from Canada, Australia, wherever you are, think about home. Think about investing home in Africa so that a time will come and you will find yourself comfortable in your country. I know you may be settled and you feel uh, I've adapted in this place, but listen to the message. That message may not be from immigration. Of course, they didn't do that video, but the message is clear. Some people are tired of immigrants. They are tired of seeing foreign nationals coming into their countries. They are tired of foreign nationals coming into their countries. Particularly Britain, those of you who live here, you know that some people are racist. They make racial remarks or it's even indirect through employment. Somebody will just accuse you for something you did not do. Don't be worried anymore. Think about Africa. Think about your home. Home is calling. Home is where you and me were born and raised. And therefore, we shouldn't even be upset about this, but rather let's reflect on the opportunity we have to raise as much as we can to invest back home. And for those of you who find it difficult to work with family, partner with friends, legit friends here in the UK, wherever you are that are from the same country, form businesses together, partnerships, that will help you even when you decide to relocate. And I have businesses that will enable you to recruit people. Your doctors here, yes, you get paid 5,000 pounds a month. We appreciate that. You want to make more money. How about forming your own surgery in Africa where you can earn good money and also employ our local people in Africa? Enough is enough where our skin will be mocked because we are black. Enough is enough that we come from Africa. It's like we are stuck in the diaspora. This is a time for you and me to start doing things that will enable us to settle back home. Many times we have complained, say this and that, because our governments are not helping us. Forget about your government. Your governments will never change unless we have revolutionary leaders that are willing to change what's going on in Africa. But for now, let's accept our fate and work with what we have, the capital that we can raise from the Western world and how we can work as partners. And for you, as our leaders in Africa, you see what you've put us through. We've had to leave Africa because of your selfishness, because you've never made Africa a suitable environment. This is also a time for you to reflect during this COVID-19, which has exposed the real feelings of people towards the black race. It's your time as well to prove that we can make Africa great. My message here is not to condemn the video, but to raise awareness of how you and me should work towards relocating to Africa, should work towards investing in Africa. After all, you can never be a billionaire or a millionaire working for somebody. But if you're in Africa with the little capital that you raise in the Western world, it's enough to set you up for good. Form partnerships. 
forget about what is being said. Why would the black race be the only race that everybody talks about or immigrants? You know, we have immigrants from India, Pakistan, the Caribbeans that are working very good jobs here because the truth is in most of these countries, their people are lazy and we are very hardworking. And also we have acquired our education because we were told education is what we needed in order for us to survive. So education has always been our number one priority where we come from. So when we get to these places, we work hard, we get promoted. Obviously it's by faith as well that you're, you're promoted. It's by chance or by luck as well, because sometimes they wouldn't feel you are suitable for the role. A real life story of a medical doctor in Britain, he shared with his girlfriend who happens to be a friend of mine. And he was telling her how the doctors have been asking him why he hasn't yet had coronavirus because blacks are having coronavirus. And he felt really discriminated. He didn't say anything about it. The following day, they carried on. How come you're still fit and well? So it's like there's a high expectation that when you work in a front line and you are of a certain race, you should have coronavirus. Sending the wrong message, right? But this is not the time for us to hate one another, but to show love. We know what they are capable of, and we will show them love by leaving their countries, by showing that we can do without living in these countries, by investing in Africa, by building hospitals in Africa, by building schools in Africa, by establishing ourselves where we come from so that nobody will mock us. That is why I believe in an Africa that will be great. It takes you and me to make Africa great. No one will make Africa great. What others want from Africa is our natural resources. They steal our gold, our copper, everything that they can get, the oil, not us. They don't love us. But we now have to safeguard our resources and protest even with our leaders. Why should you involve so many people coming to our countries to collect things, particularly the Chinese? I also saw a video of a company that is celebrating that they have bought shares or they have actually bought a mine in Zambia. Zambia has discovered gold, but the leaders don't even know what to do. They are rather selling them to other foreign nationals so that they should handle the gold. How can you be selling your own natural resources when those resources are meant to feed the nations of Africa? It's because whoever comes in leadership is thinking of how they can enrich themselves instead of helping the people of Africa. So if you're a doctor, a nurse, a teacher, a lawyer, a social worker, any of those professions that allow you to be in the front line and the video says, we don't need you, start planning to go home. Home is home. Don't be offended because it is also a sign that maybe your time is up. Home needs you. So many things are happening. Our people in Africa are facing a lot. So with investments from people who live in the diaspora, the economy will develop. After all, for example, Zambians alone send $21 million a year just to Zambia. Now you can imagine if those are investments, it was that money that is sent is sent to pay bills, pay rentals, pay this and that. Now imagine if that money is used as an investment. A means we will have more millionaires in Africa and we will never think of relocating. Many people approach me about, I want to come to the UK. I tell them, stay where you are. 16 years ago when I came here, things were different and now things are becoming worse. If you position yourself well in Africa, in the agriculture business, pharmaceutical business, opening a hospital or a clinic or a restaurant, barber shop, you will be a millionaire in a few years time. But the problem 
is we have people who don't have faith. They don't want to take a step. And there's also trust issues where families rip you off. They steal your money. They take your investments. And when you try to ask for the investments, some have even lost their lives because the family member thought, I cannot lose what you have invested and I was looking after your property. So we can do it in a way that you can involve lawyers in Africa. There's lawyers in Africa after all. Af after all, Africa is not a bush. It's not a jungle. It's up to you and me to develop Africa. Nobody will build roads for you in Africa except the Chinese because they are under a gimmick. They, are, they have a gimmick because they want to uh, get as much land from Africans. So let's focus on how we will develop ourselves from partnerships, from groups. Otherwise, we will be slaves. We will always be working to eat. We will always be working to pay bills. We will always be working to support families back home. When you are in business, you make more money than when you are working for somebody. Let them keep their jobs. Who needs them anyway? After all, it's them that will struggle, not you and me. We've done our part. We've played our part. And it, we know that even when we're playing our part, we did it genuinely. We can pat our backs for the hard work that we have done. And even as we carry on on a journey going back home, nobody should even blame us because we are going to where we come from. There's a Nigerian doctor that lived in the UK for a few years and decided to relocate and open a hospital in Nigeria. His hospital is one of the biggest hospitals in Nigeria. There's a, Ghanaian, there's a Ghanaian professor that went back to Ghana with nothing except his qualifications and he decided to open a university. Today, his university is one of the biggest universities in Ghana and is very well respected. There is hope. There is hope for you and me in Africa. Africa is a place for you to be. Resources are there. Land is there. Labor is affordable compared to abroad but we are also fighting for the national minimum wage because we want our people in africa to also get good pay if everybody is getting good pay why would we want to relocate to any part of the world we will simply just travel for holidays just to see the other side of the world pay for clothes shoes whatever we want to and still go back home where our heart is so worry not they don't want us we will also leave. We will also pack our bags in peace. After all, we were followed. Some of you were contacted by agencies that were begging desperately for workers because the beds needed to be attended to. And now somebody makes such a, a disgusting video. It shouldn't hurt you. We've seen doctors who've lost their lives during the coronavirus, nurses, simply because they had a heart for people. And for somebody to mock them like that, for them to lose their lives, it just shows how disrespectful people can be. How some people don't respect or value immigrants. You don't want immigrants? No problem. Immigrants will leave Britain. With that, guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. It's a girl, Lela Motams, also known as Genoa Bazet. See you on my next video. Remember, we are Africa and Africa will be great through you and me. And together we will make Africa a safe place to stay. I love you guys. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that each time I upload a videos, you will be notified and follow me on Instagram.